Today is the day that President Joe Biden wanted 70% of American adults with at least one dose of the vaccine. We have fallen short of that goal as a country, 2% short with just 68% of U.S. adults vaccinated. Here's the president's thoughts about that. I am not concerned there's going to be a major outbreak, but I am concerned lives will be lost. To help cut down on that, health departments all across the triad are finding ways to bring the vaccine to the people at 4th of July celebrations today. New at 11, WFMY News 2's Ben Smart shows you the effort to get people vaccinated this Independence Day. It's a way to mark our independence from COVID is this vaccine that we have. On Independence Day, Forsyth County Health Director Joshua Swift is urging the unvaccinated to get the shot. You know, it helps your, your neighbor. I mean, it's like a civic duty to, to get the vaccine to help others. It not only helps you, it protects you, but it protects those around you. The COVID vaccine van parked at the top of the hill at Triad Park in Kernersville. Down below, the North Carolina 440th Army National Guard performed free pops music as crowds watched on. I think it's just a gift that we get to play for the public, for our nation, in serving in this capacity. It's the first concert as part of this year's Summer Park Series. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we had to cancel all of the events for last year, um, but we're back again this year. It's great, and we have uh, five concerts that are scheduled throughout this year. And Food trucks for families to eat, local artists too, people of all ages celebrating our country's independence as we continue facing off against the coronavirus pandemic. Health Director Swift says the least vaccinated age group are those between 12 and 24. Really trying to reach our tweens, our teens, and our really young adults. That's that they need the vaccine the most. Ben Smart, WFMY News 2.